Welcome people of planet Earth and all planets beyond. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh and welcome to Heat Check. This is our weekly look at the highest selling vintage items on eBay. And this week we're looking at vintage hats of all kinds and of all ages, but the top 10 highest selling vintage hats over the last two weeks. So let's dive into this list and see what might appear. Kicking us off, we have this English Bobby's helmet, police hat, Elizabeth Rex, Constable Larry, I don't know, officer badge. Uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, I assume this is a, a, a vintage a police helmet from uh, Great Britain. Uh, it's got the you know, metal patch here. I'm sure it looks like wool to me. Um, I'm not going to act like I am some sort of uh, English police hat expert <laughs> by any means, but I do think it's a cool either, uh, either way. Um, and it's got the belt uh, around the, oh, this is actually called something I think, not a belt, but I don't recall what it is, but looks like it's in great condition. Um, I don't know exactly how old it is. Let's see if they say it looks like it's from the 50s and 60s. So that's actually pretty, pretty fascinating to me. Um, not sure why it's in uh, St. Louis, Missouri, but all right, sounds fine. I mean, maybe, maybe someone immigrated. I don't know. But anyway, it did sell for $275. So if you're ever out in the thrift and you see a vintage 1950s or 60s uh, English police helmet, you know it's worth a little bit of money. Next up we have this interesting one, not because of uh, its actual content, but uh, by the fact that it was actually allowed to be sold on eBay. It's the 1970s three-stripe trucker hat, American by birth, Southern by the grace of God. Uh, typically, I believe you're not allowed to sell anything with the Confederate flag on uh, eBay. I could be wrong, maybe there are some exceptions. Um, uh, this does appear to me to be a little bit uh, uh, a ridiculous price, um, to be honest. Uh, but it is a three stripe, so of course everyone loves their three stripe hats right now. Um, the color, three multiple color three stripes, trucker hat, mesh back. Um, I don't necessarily know that it says who made it, what, uh, what brand actually produced the hat. I don't see any tags. It does say made in USA there. Um, but anyway, it looks like there's, you know, they don't give a whole lot more information other than that. Uh, but according to uh, my research, this did sell for $276 with 10 bids. I'm not sure how this hat got to Oregon, but uh, um, I mean, I'm not going to say it's a cool hat because I uh, don't particularly agree with the, the iconography, but uh, certainly a good sale. All right, at number eight, when I said we're looking at vintage hats, we are really looking at vintage hats and maybe even hats that would be uh, considered uh, antique hats. We have this 1900s, 20s, uh, men's Biltmore black bowler hat with a uh, Knox box, which I assume is the, it's just the box for the actual hat itself. That's a cool, cool looking hat. It looks like it's in fantastic condition. If it truly is from the early uh, 1900s or 1920s, like that's pretty impressive. It must have been kept in here in the in its Knox box or whatever for a long time because the interior looks incredible, like for its age. Uh, if it really is truly that old, I don't really know. I don't have a lot of experience with these types of hats, and I assume somebody wears them. I know Biltmore is a hat company. I've actually sold some of their hats in the past, uh, though I don't think any of them were nearly uh, this old. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's always cool to see. Um, some true vintage, some antique type stuff like this. Uh, it's definitely uh, uh, an era that I don't often get to find stuff from. So whenever you do see it, it's pretty dope. Uh, this one sold for $280. All right, here is a really cool one. This World War II U.S. Army denim Daisy May bucket hat from the 1940s. Uh, they want to make sure that you know it's not a repro. This is... Uh, I don't know if it is uh, the original bucket hat, but it's got to be pretty close. Um, this definitely intersects a lot of the things that I know that interest me and a lot of you that watch the channel here. And we have this denim World War II bucket hat. Uh, super cool and pretty good condition. There's obviously some damage here. We have the tag um, here dated, yeah, right there, 1940. So this is pre-World War II, at least for the Americans' involvement, right, I believe. Um, 
uh, or or even even earlier. No, that was the design, uh, maybe in 1937. Still, incredible, super cool hat. This is one of the. I mean, if you are a if you are a bucket hat fan, this has got to be like the granddaddy of them all. Um, I imagine it's in really good condition. The 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 denim looks beautiful. He's even modeling it for us. Look at that bucket hat. Wow. Um, uh, does I don't, maybe this is an older picture because this one looks a little bit dirtier than some of the other pictures I'm seeing here. But still, it's oh yeah, look at that. Thanks for modeling it. That he kind of looks like uh, uh, Adam Driver. Anyway, uh, super hipster hat I guess now, but awesome piece of history here. This one sold for two hundred and eighty-five dollars. I'm definitely gonna keep my eyes out uh, for one of these guys. All right, for our first uh, shark tooth. I think it might be the only one on this list, uh, but super interesting here. Vintage Northrop Grumman B2 Bomber uh, Shark Tooth Snapback. Uh, look at this, incredible. Uh, lots. I mean, that's embroidered. I don't think it's a patch or anything. So, super high quality. Uh, you already know probably that the the Shark Tooth hats do really well. Um, you know, certain rare designs. This has got to be one of the rarest, I imagine. Uh, what's interesting to me is I don't see a logo athletic. Um, I don't see a logo athletic uh, uh, stamp on here. And I thought they were the ones who actually had the license for this shark tooth design. I could be wrong. Um, I'm not a big hat head or, or, you know, I don't know all the deep ins and outs. Uh, so maybe someone else licensed it uh, from them or something like that. But either way, super rare and dope hat. Uh, can't imagine there's many of these out there. Um, and that's one of the reasons why it did sell for $300 plus shipping. Super cool. Alright, next up we actually have the appearance of a Stetson Cowboy hat on this list. We're doing all kinds of hats. If it's vintage and it's a hat, we're going to have it. I know very little about hats, but I know Stetsons are pretty good. And this guy looks like it's in great condition. It's got a little uh, little flourish here on the side. Um, according to the uh, in information here that it was from the original owner, uh, about from the 1970 era, looks brand like brand new. Cool. Um, it does look like it's in really good condition. I don't know if it's like, is it a, is it a beaver? Yeah, it looks like it might be beaver. Uh, I know there's something to do with all these X's that has something to do with the quality of the fur or whatever they use on it. Um, so if you want to school me about cowboy hats, do so in the comments. I would love to hear back. But this one's super cool. Especially if you're into cowboy hats, I suppose. Uh, it did sell for $375 plus a ton of shipping, actually. Um, they paid like $60 in shipping, so I believe it probably went overseas. Uh, so either way, uh, cool hat and great sale. All right, now we're moving on to some of the big boys here. We have some sports specialties, as you probably would have expected. Here we have a Dallas Cow or Dallas Mavericks, uh, excuse me, script snapback. Uh, these uh, sports specialties, script snapbacks, are all the rage, um, and they are certainly some of the best you can get out there. Um, this one looks great. Dallas Mavericks. Um, I was actually born outside of Dallas, so that's cool, but never really was a Dallas Mavericks fan. The tags here all look like they're in really good condition, so it's probably got very little wear, so that's a good sign for uh, if you're the buyer here. Um, I'm not sure how particularly rare this one is, but I imagine it's not super crazy rare. Um, these were often, the sports specialties hats were often the hats, um, hat brand that was actually given out uh, to uh, draft picks when they were first drafted. So you would often see them wearing uh, one of these hats uh, on draft day uh, when they were picked. So that's really cool. Uh, Dallas Mavericks uh, sports specialties hat, uh, one of the bigger, uh, probably more rare hats, especially with their popularity right now. Uh, this one sold for $385 plus shipping. All right, we're back into the 1950s with this new old stock McAndrew Gray Fedora in box. Um, look at this cool fedora. Super cool. You would look so fly in this fedora. Uh, this is the box. If that's really the box, what a box. I mean, that box is incredible. Um, beaver. It looks like it's a lot of X's, so it's a high-quality beaver. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Again, I'm not super up on all that stuff, but... Uh, looks beautiful. Looks like it's in fantastic condition. Um, you're probably not going to find a fedora this old as in, as in good condition. So, um, Kevin McAndrew, 
I imagine he's probably a big deal, but uh, still, beautiful hat. Um, and you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and say it. I think the box is even cooler than the hat. So maybe they were just buying it for the box because the box is super dope. Anyway, this hat did sell for $474.99 plus a ton of shipping. So I imagine it also went out of the country. I think the shipping was $71. Uh, so I bet it did go out of the country. Still beautiful hat, super cool, um, and even better box. All right, now at number two, we have this vintage Los Angeles Raiders snapback uh, sports specialty. I have actually not seen this particular sports specialty design. I have seen the other one, the script design. Um, uh, this one looks cool too, uh, though I think I prefer the script. Maybe this one is a bit rarer than the other ones. Um, maybe if there's any hat heads in the chat, they'll let us know. Uh, super cool, super dope. Um, not one of my favorites, but again it's still super cool don't have anything against it uh, they uh, had it listed it looks like for 600 but took an offer of 580 dollars plus shipping wow 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 crazy big sale um not entirely surprising considering who's number one uh but the uh, uh the sports specialties hats have been selling for big money for a long time so uh, as far as i can tell everything checks out on this sale uh, cool hat, uh, but even better sale in my opinion. Now before we get to number one, I do want to shout out memberships and members. If you're not a member and you want to support the channel uh, and get access to a uh, exclusive members only live stream on Thursdays where I go over everything that I buy uh, from the rag house and the thrift and go over in detail with uh, what I paid and how much I expect to make from it and some of the history of the items that I find. Uh, you can do that by hitting the join button below. It's just $2.99 a month uh, and you'll uh, greatly support the channel and get yourself access to a free live stream and i do want to thank all the members who have already joined i greatly appreciate your support and thank you guys so much all right at number one no surprise here with the philadelphia phillies uh inching closer to a, a world series win we have the sports specialties philly uh plain logo with the p here um, and at first glance, obviously, this doesn't look like an incredibly, you know, interesting hat. It's pretty simple. It's not even one of the, you know, script hats that have all the, the name out uh, names. But uh, you can see here that this hat pops up in some popular uh, pop culture uh, references. And uh, according to the seller, is one of the rarest black domes out there. Uh, so super cool. First generation, uh, apparently. Um, I don't know much about uh, this particular hat, uh, but you know, it's sports specialties. It's the Philadelphia Phillies. Right now they're having a moment. So uh, no surprise that this thing sells for big money and it takes the number one spot this week on this particular list. And get this, it says here it sold for $1,099.99. Well, in fact, it did sell for $1,099.99. Uh, Wow, uh, imagine spending over a thousand dollars on a hat. That's incredible. Um, super cool hat, obviously. Uh, also an incredible sale. Congratulations, Liberty Bell Pickers. If this if this looks if this goes all the way through and doesn't get returned and stuff, what a find and what a sale. And uh, to the owner of the hat, I I'm, I'm I'm sure you're going to love it and enjoy it. So super cool at number one here, sports specialties, Philadelphia Phillies. So hats was fun. I enjoyed hats. There's a lot of cool hats on there. Obviously, I do wear hats a lot, uh, though I would not consider myself a hat head, if that's the term. Um, but uh, some super interesting stuff on there, especially some of those old, old hats. Um, you know, maybe fedoras and, you know, uh, you know what that, what's that like? Uh, 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 early 1900s hat, bowler hat. Uh, maybe those will come back and those will be super in style. Uh, though, I think my personal favorite was probably the World War II or uh, 1940s denim bucket. Still super dope. Anyway, that was the list. Look for a few more of these before the end of the year. We're going to do some random stuff. If you have suggestions of uh, categories you want us to take a look at, uh, drop them in the comments below. And uh, we'll see if we can pull it off. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one.